Hello and welcome to this quick little video. In this video I will be showing you how to program a Arduino Pro Mini. Now just recently I got into using these little Pro Minis and I really liked them for their small size and they're pretty well just as good as such as a Uno or a Nano but one thing I was a little confused on when I first got them was how to program them. So I will show you how to do that. The first thing you'll need is your Pro Mini. Now you will need to know they make this in a 3.3 volt version and a 5 volt version. You will need to know that. That's important when it comes to programming it or powering it. This one I have here, this is the 5 volt version. I try to stick with 5 volts in all my little projects. The other thing you will need is a USB ASP programmer. These are a little USB programmer. You can program actually any of the Arduinos with one of these. This is really great. I will put a description to one of these down in the links. They are really cheap. With it, you get a 10-pin connector. And most of them, you also get a 10-pin to 6-pin adapter right here. The nice thing about these adapters is all the pins on them are labeled and you will need to know that. Another thing you will need is six of these little breadboard male to female jumper wires. Uh, you could either use some or make your own or however you feel like you need to do it. Now the connections on programming one. We will go down the line of this one here. You will need a VCC a MOSI, a ground, a MISO, a SCK system clock, or, and a reset. Now our first pins we're going to worry about will be our VCC. And looking at the Arduino here, the reset pin over here, the VCC is right here. Now that will connect up to the VCC on the adapter. And then our next one we're going to worry about is our ground. I'll go ahead and connect it up. The ground is on the opposite side. Now our other four connections we will need. One is the reset, which the reset is right beside the VCC. And there it is on our adapter and then the next one we worry about is the SCK or the system clock and that is on pin 13 of the Arduino the digital pin 13 there we go and then the next one will be pin 12 that is our MISO or master in slave out is what that stands for So, and then the last and final one is our MOSI, which is Master Out Slave In, and that is pin 11. And with all of them connected up to our adapter in our Arduino, that's all you need to program one. Now we'll go on the side of the computer, and I will show you where to get the driver for this programmer and a couple of settings in the Arduino IDE to program with this thing. Okay, here we are in Google. The easiest way to find this is to Google USB ASP and on mine it comes up as the second result this USB ASP USB programmer for Atmel AVR controllers and what you do is you want to go there and then this is what I believe the guy that created this programmer. So there's lots of information on it here. The schematic and everything if you really want to know how it works. But what we are after. Now I'm on a Windows machine. So there are things you need here for Linux or Mac. But all of us, we run Windows, don't we? <laughs> Anyways, what you'll be after is this right here. This 
Zadig USB driver installation made easy. And just click on it. And then this page here will come up. And then go down here and right here, the Zadig 2.3. And we will save it. All right, there we go. And then open it. Uh, of course. And then what we have here is the, is it comes up right here. It should say right here, win USB, blah, 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 a bunch of numbers. And all you have to do is hit install. Now I have already installed this. On this computer but I will go ahead and redo it again all right and we are good to go in the Arduino IDE software now I will go to examples and oh sure basic blink this is the one that comes pre-installed on all Arduinos but I'm going to speed it up to where we can tell a noticeable difference in it being programmed and then the next thing we'll do is I like to go ahead I'm not too sure if this makes a difference programming one this way but on the board here I always select what board I'm using so in this case I am doing the Arduino Pro Mini right down there and now like you would normally do uploading to any other Arduino that's USB connected you would use the little upload arrow right here. Um, we do not use that with this programmer. We go up here to sketch and we will use the upload using programmer. Now, I will show you how this works all together now then. Now that we have our Pro Mini connected up to our programmer, I'll take, I will plug the programmer into the computer and it will recognize our drivers we installed. And now, in the IDE, I have loaded up the standard blink sketch and I have adjusted it to a real blink a lot faster. Now, as you see right now, you see the, the LED there blinking. It's loaded up with this sketch already, but it's set to be on and off for one second. So I have sped that up to a hundred milliseconds. So we go to sketch, upload using programmer, it will compile a sketch. And then we'll see the LEDs blink, and we're done. There it is. So that shows just how easy it is to upload your sketches to an Arduino Pro Mini. Uh, if you've got a project you're doing and you're kind of pressed for space and you want to use an Arduino, one of these are excellent to go with. So I hope you found this video useful and interesting. And until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.